What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Clemson and we got beat badly. They dominated every facet of the ball game and we played as poorly as you can imagine and now we have dropped down to five and five. We got two games left and they were taking on Navy. They're one and seven. We have more talent than they do. Now they run a triple option offense which could be a nightmare to defend in this game. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But if we could just get that one extra win, become bowl eligible, that's going to make things a whole lot easier for us in the offseason, especially if we can pull off a win in that bowl game. Now, before we take on Navy, let's look at recruiting. The one bright spot in the last video was a commitment from Rob Harper, the free safety. We were down to him and this middle linebacker, so we had 50 points on each one and apparently that made the difference you show any kid enough love i guess they're willing to commit so it's good to have him in the fold we got our first defensive commitment of the dynasty and now we're down to one player sean harris he is visiting today we got a positive pitch and that is academic so you would think knowing what the positive pitch is and having a hundred points the full thing on him should be enough to seal the deal so make sure you stay to the end of the video and we'll see if we get that commitment today. Now let's go to Sports Illustrated. Bowl rankings, again, none of this applies to us. There's no point looking at it. Same with top 25 polls. Heisman Watch, the same. We're not going to have anybody on here. Award semifinalists, I'm not going to, there's no point looking at this because you remember the last video, we were not up for anything. We didn't have one single player in the top 12 of any of these awards so i will not be looking at this the rest of the dynasty if that's okay by you uh, there's just no point so let's go to players of the week some of this is interesting especially if we got a guy on here so in the last week national players of the week quarterback out of utep that's jordan palmer that's carson palmer's brother then he got a corner out of washington state apparently had a really good game had a tackle an interception and a touchdown apparently not a whole lot was going on <laughs> on defense that week then you go over to our conference, Virginia and Virginia Tech were represented last week in the stack column for the players of the week. Now let's go to conference standings. We are fourth, no, let me go back. We are still second in our division and we got one game left. That would be great if we could beat North Carolina. We could possibly finish second in the division. Now Virginia still has several conference games left Now we beat them but they only got two conference losses so we'll see what happens there but we'll check out our team info screen not much has changed the big six players right there are kind of doing their thing um I, I would love to see schneider have more touchdowns than picks this season that's gonna be kind of tough with only two games left technically three if you're gonna count the bowl game now we are taking on navy and they are an independent you go over to the independents, and there they are. They got a defensive tackle out for the year, and the rest of that is not saying a whole lot to me. Again, they're one and seven, just having an awful season, but hopefully they don't uh, run all over us today. So let's go ahead and get into the game. Would love, again, to get a win. That would be great. Become bowl eligible, get a commitment from that middle linebacker, and then we'll head off into the end of the regular season and take on the Tar Heels. But now we got our first player in trouble of the season, if I'm not mistaken. And who's that? Jamar Wright. Let's see what he did. There is a story on the news of Wright having a little too much fun at a club downtown. This is not an image Duke wants to promote. We're going to have him suspended for one game. I would love to do two just to get him down because he doesn't do a whole lot for us. But I feel like we may need him against North Carolina. I don't know. I think we're okay with having him being out today though. So let's just go ahead and do that. And we are at home. So let's go with our alternate two uniform, which is now our default home. Looks pretty cool. All right, let's get into the game. And guess what? Another rain game at Durham. We don't even have the TV guys for this one today. No wind. But again, just tons of rain. So let's check out their roster. Impact quarterback, 78 speed. Of course, every one of their quarterbacks can run, so we're not going to do any blitzing today. I'm going to do a lot of man cover, too, pretty much all day. Try to keep everything in front of us. 
Not much on the halfback front. Bunch of guys in the 70s. Fullbacks, not bad. Of course, every one of these guys going to run the ball as well, so they are truly set up for a triple option attack. They got an impact wide receiver. So it makes you wonder between an impact wide receiver and an impact quarterback how much they're going to throw today. Tight end, nothing at all. You know, these flex bone guys, they don't use tight ends all that often. You look at the offensive line, everybody appears to be in the 70s, and that's it. And every one of them is really small. You look at the defense. Now, again, I think they run a 3-4, but 84 and 74 on the ends. Defensive tackles, just not very good at all. Linebackers, 72, 74, and 80. You look at the corners, 78 and 70. Free safety, 76. A decent, strong safety. Apparently, their best defender. You, they got an awful kicker, awful punter. Just really bad all around. But that doesn't mean anything because, again, we're going up against a really weird offense that can be tough to defend. All right, let's get this show on the road. I didn't see any impact guys on the back end, so I kicked it like normal. It's a good stop there. Now, again, I'm going to be running a ton of 4-3, too high, man. And just hope for the best that we can keep everything in front of us. They went straight to the full house formation out of the gate. And they have a false start by the right tackle. Looks like they're going to go with flexbone normal on this play. And that is the case. No, they're going gun tight. Not gun tight. I'm an idiot. I think it's flexbone tight or wide or whatever they call it. Good play there. Second and 12. I'm going to stay in man again unless I think they're going to run just a ton. I'm going to leave it as is. I don't know how much shifting I'll be doing today. That's a great stop. So they're doing a lot of these wing back end arounds and such that don't work all that well. Third and 14. I mean, we'll go cloud. I guess they're going to throw it. Yep, they're going to throw and there you go. Somebody just get a stop. And a face mask. Ooh, that should have been a face mask. We got lucky on that one. So we have stopped them, which is good. Now we're going to go double cross. We got, I think we got a better chance of getting a good return to try to block it. If we went all out block, they probably would have come in to protect. Let's see. We're going to have to fair catch that one. Now we are on the right hash. Let me fix this sub uh, package. Uh, we can start here. Let's do a toss with drummer. Zone dime. We'll go to the right. I'm gonna leave that as is. Perfect defense. Second and long. We can try direct. I know not a lot of people are a fan of this play, but sometimes you got to use it to make up for some things. Just perp, just, yeah, just perfect defense. Third and forever. We'll go cross. Hopefully we don't throw an interception here. Good throw. Good throw, Schneider. Good for you. You needed that. So let's go back and do something like counter strong. Now, are they running? Yeah, they're going 3 4. Probably need to be doing a lot more dive type stuff. I'll try to remember that going forward. Do something like this. Good block there. Got to be patient on that one. You go back and look at here. I slowed down. I didn't use the speed button. I waited for my fullback just to get enough of a rub on that safety to pick up a first. Let's go slam. I'm not too worried about the clock on this one. So we're going to run this like normal. 
And just good defense. We got the yards we needed, though. Picked up four or five. Let's run an off tackle with Dargan. I need to be going to the left a little bit more. Oh, I don't think we got it. Third and inches. Let's go fullback over. We're going zone 5-2. This is going to be interesting. Just get the first. Just enough. Now, we are on the left hash. What I want to do is go run a P read. We're going zone nickel. We're going to bounce this at the boil. Still just a weird, a weird throw by Schneider. He really struggles with that one. Let's go slam with Dargan. We're going man 5-2. We'll just go to the left. Good defense. We need to think smart about this one. Let's, uh... I got my audibles. I'm going to go fullback over. They're going man. This is what I wanted. So we're, they're going man. And what we're going to do... I got to check my audibles first. We're going to go to audibles. And I'm pretty sure it is circle. It is. Let's see if this will work. We're going to a really good man beater. And ow. Dang it, ow. That's just my fault. I was fixing to get sacked, and I got spooked, and I threw the ball way too light. So that was a busted play by me. So let's kick a field goal. Hopefully I can make this. He was wide open, too. And I missed it. Dang it, Al. Dang it, dang it. Ah, oh, hey, kicking. Uh, I'm just just so hard in this game. Unless you got a really good kicker. So that drive was a waste. Let's get back on defense. Good stop there. We'll go back to cover two man. So it looks like they're still determined to run the ball. The entire time. Ah, hell. Just way too easy of a run. My entire defensive line got pushed big time. Going with the wishbone. Interesting shift. Good stop there. Somebody came through. It looks like it was Alexander. And just like that, the quarter is almost over. This game should go by pretty quickly. Just because both teams are going to run a lot. So it's third and ten. I am going to do a spy on the right side because he's a right-handed quarterback. Hopefully that will work. Hopefully that will keep him in the pocket. I would prefer him to throw it. Thankfully, it went out of bounds. So we're going to get the ball back, but we got to start scoring some points. That's typically been our biggest struggle all season. It's just offensively, we're very challenged. And we're running an offense with formations that aren't the easiest to use. So we're back on the right hash. And that's the end of the first quarter. Absolutely nothing going on at the moment. Hopefully we can score here. They're going man 3-4. I'm going to go with a basic dive. Decent little game. Pick up five maybe. We're in the middle of the field. We'll go deep cross up, and they're going man. Now we should have. 
a man beater for this, and we do. Good throw to Adams. Nice little audible there. Get, a, get us out of a bad situation. Let's try Blast again. I'm thinking they're going to run a lot of 3-4, so let's try to go up to gut a little bit. We'll leave that as is. Good run. Good run. Keep going up the gut. So we can keep doing the same thing for um, like a formation like this. Let's go ISO. They're going man, but they're going nickel. We maybe end up bouncing this one to the outside. Not a whole lot there. Still in the middle of the field. We can try a deep cross up again. Man again. Let's try something like this again. But, yeah, just going up against that really good player. Um, I'm going to try deep cross up again. There we go. Now we're going up against that strong safety, which isn't the smartest thing. Not feeling a whole lot of pressure. Almost. Got close. Good catch by Tally. So we overcame that little obstacle. Now all we got to do is just try to get in the end zone. We're going zone 5-2. Let's see if we can get to the outside. And we may end up scoring a touchdown anyways. <laughs> Good deal. So we got on the scoreboard. Took us a little while, but we got there. Got a little congested up the middle, so we had to bounce that one to the outside, obviously. Let's kick an extra point, and we'll get back on defense. There we go. Our defense is doing its job. We're getting them in a third and long, pretty much, on every drive. Just keeping everything in front of us. Not the best kick. Again, it's probably going to go out of bounds. Nobody's going to return it. Uh-oh. Ooh, he stepped out. That got interesting real quick. We'll do something like this. Looks like they have a shotgun formation in their playbook. There he goes. Good stop by Alexander. That part worries me a little bit, is that quarterback running around on us in the passing game. They're going back to a much bigger set. We'll leave that. I mean, we can do something like this. Another end around. Good stop. Their offensive line is not helping at all. Third and long. I'm going to go back, and we're going to do another hot round. Or... Yeah, we're going to spy that defensive end. P. Reed, interesting play call. Nowhere to go. So we're going to get the ball back. Let's see if we can get a decent gain by Drummer. A return of some sort. He may be able to do something with this. Just depends on just the fumble. Very fortunate we got the ball back there. I think he got his bell rung. Just an amazing hit by that linebacker. Let's go back to a counter. I forgot the run of 3-4. This still may work. This is a nice little compliment to full back over. Yep, we're going to get away from that guy. Get a block right there. Good play by Dargan. And they got a player hurt. One play I want to try. This may be a good time to do it. It's one of the few to true toss plays in the game. You notice this right here, weak toss. Notice how all the blocking is straight up. 
the problem is the toss plays in this game, the defensive players are triggered once the ball is tossed. It's like once it's tossed and they're coming at you, just like that. That's why those plays just never work. They're just set up wrong. It's not the play's fault. It's just the designers just didn't do a good job of going in and taking that trigger off. And just all of a sudden, boom, everybody and their brother's coming at you. We're going to try another toss play. Let's see if we can get Drummer going. Get a first down there. I'm going to go back. Uh, no, let's go here and let's do a QB choice. We're going to go to the other side. I want the field to work with. Just don't sh shift. Yeah, this play may not work. Depending on that defensive end. Yep. Nobody blocked him. Second and 11. We can stay here and go P. Reed again. The clock is going. I need to pay attention to that. Just a good play. Just enough. That was <laughs> The timing was crucial, and we ended up getting the first on that one. So we're on the... 20 yard line. I got all three timeouts and we're about to score, so I'm not too worried about the timing of things. Perfect defense. Nobody blocked him. Second and 11. Now I kind of need to get with it a bit here. I don't need to call a timeout yet. They're going man, nickel. Not a big fan of that shift, but what do you do? Wide open. Good play to Adams. Let's call a timeout. I didn't get out of bounds. Good separation for Adams. I was waiting for somebody to get open. I was pretty much waiting on the crosser. They went cover one. Thankfully, that defender got picked by his own teammate. Ended up being a good throw by Schneider, but we didn't get out of bounds completely. So we need to think about what to do here. We're going zone, 5-2. Ah! Good play there. We'll go ace normal. We're going to go direct. Again, I'm looking at the time. I know what's happening there. 18, 17. Go over here. Good blocking. We're going to get this touchdown. All right, good deal. So there's nine seconds left. We'll kick an extra point. We'll try to survive the remaining of the quarter. And we'll check out some stats. There's not gonna be a whole lot to see there. I mean, of course, we're doing a lot of the work. Navy hasn't done anything. But we're only up two scores at half. That was a good drive. It took up a lot of time. That wasn't really my goal, but I definitely don't mind those types of drives, especially this season. Get a decent kickoff here. Oh, there he, he's going. Dang it, what's Harold doing? <laughs> what a weird play. And they took up all that time. Just a weird play all around. Okay, so we're up 14-0. We can check out some stats. 186 yards of offense. Of course, our passing game, just 96 yards. Our yards on the ground is 90. So a balanced attack, but we're, of course, we're running the ball a whole lot more. We're doing a good job on third down. They are not. Their offense is just terrible. But no turnovers between either team. We can check out some individual stats. Schneider, 7 of 8, 96 yards. He's having one of his better games of the season. Rushing. Pretty balanced attack, seven, five, and six. Drummer's got a touchdown. Boyle's got a touchdown. Not a whole lot on the receiving end. And again, our best receiver is Elliott, but, you know, he's just been pretty bad all season. Defensively, Dewan is leading in tackles and tied for tackles for loss. Alexander's got a sack. We don't have any interceptions. So let's get back into the game. Start of the third quarter. We're going to get the ball back, and I would love to go right down the field and stretch this lead. 
Who is our new returner? This is right spot. Now it's Marshall and whoever this is. And that didn't go well. Don't ever go backwards on a kickoff. <laughs> Let's go slam. We're going man nickel. We're doing that. I guess we're going to go left. Not much there. I'm going to run another slam. This time with Dargan. They're going zone. 3 4. Just don't use the speed button. Just keep bouncing, getting forward as best you can. Third and one. I'm going to pass it. This may not work, but we're at home, so I can hot route a couple of things. Something like this. Just enough. Ooh, that was kind of risky. <laughs> so what else do we have? I'm trying to think of formations we haven't really done much. Let's go here and run dive with Drummer. He's more of a scat back, but I was kind of hoping they may stick to a 3-4. And this isn't going to work. They're going... I think they're going man steel here. Nope, they're not. And we get getting yards out of that, didn't we? Second and three. Oh, I just went to a basic man beater. Now they're going back to man, but watch them come. Yep, going back to the exact same play again. I think they're going back to zone. I'm going to flip this. Are they going man? I can't tell. Yep, they're going zone. Just risky. They're just calling perfect calls on defense on these couple of plays. Third and one again. I'd love to run the ball, but I just don't trust it in this situation. I'm going to hand this ball off. That's a good call. The boil. Pick up the first. I thought we had the leverage on that side. We can go back to him. We can try another counter. Zone three and four. Now they decide to go to a three four, I guess, since we went to a bigger set ourselves. And nobody blocked. Good job. We can, I don't know where we're at here. Let's try another toss. Zone dime. This is where I want to go up to gut. Dang it's just all that got bogged down. My kicker or my quarterback got stuck on my center. And at this point I couldn't go. That's just a bad play all around. So what is the third and long? Third and nine. We can try it again. Tight end cross. They're going man dime. I'd love to see them go cover zero. That'd be great. But they're going to cover one. Go to tight end for a first down. Good little play there. Good to see him get on the stat sheet. Let's go back to a slam. Man, nickel. Makes a lot of sense. He's coming down. Have to go to the outside on this one. Great run by Dargan. Now, I want to stay here, and I'm going to go... No, let's try... Go back to fullback over. We're going man now. I'm going to go back to that audible. Maybe it'll work this time. And this is going to go to Drummer. For six points. So, good little switch up there. That's a good man beater to go to the fullback in the flat. Little spider two wide banana. Glad I was able to pull that off at least once this season. But that's a good spot to do it in when you're in the red zone. You don't need a ton of yards, but just enough to get the touchdown. And just like that, we're up three scores. This game is feeling a little bit better as it keeps going. And as you can tell, Navy is just having an awful season. 
I picked him because I rarely pick uh, flexbone teams to go up against because I always consider them a little bit more of a challenge, but I guess we picked the right one to get a win. We'll kick this thing back off. This should stay in bounds. This may go... Looks like it'll be returning. He's got some bodies on that side. Good tackle there. We'll go cover two man. Just stay in man pretty much the rest of the game. Been working pretty well. Fullback dive. Ah, nothing you can do about that. Just a good play by the fullback. I was there, just he broke the tackle. Back to man cover two, going triple. And when well, they went fumble on that one. First time they've caught triple pretty much all day, it seems. Going back to an even bigger set. I think this is their flex bone wide formation or tight or whatever it's called in this game. Good gain. Had great blocking on that one, so it's third and short. I think this is their first time past midfield all day. Ah, oh, dang it. I was hoping he'd get stopped right there by the defensive end. So they pick up the first down. Do something like this. Just got to be mindful of them running to the left. Yep, going that wing back around. And that's me making three straight tackles in a row. That's a rarity. Of course, you don't want your free safety to be making all these tackles, but it is what it is. Do something like this, perhaps. Triple. Ah, ow. That was just my fault. Pulley butcher that one. Now I got my backup free safety in here, who is quite awful. He's not even a free safety. I think he's our backup strong safety. They may end up scoring on this play, on this drive. They've got some, a good thing going. Get a stop. Oh, dang it. That's another tackle. go nickel break it up a little bit give our linebackers a bit of a break at least a couple of them ah you have to decide you go after the quarterback or the pitch man and I butchered that one all together they're gonna make this a game if they score right here this game is nowhere near over yet Just ran right over me. I come right on through. It's like, nope, you're not even there. And just like that, we're now just up two scores. So we got to be mindful here. Just play smart in this fourth quarter. We need to get that touchdown back. There's six seconds left. Yeah, that's just an easy gain or drive for them. Had no real issues. A lot of broken tackles. My safeties ended up having to make way too many tackles on that drive. Middle of the field, I'm going to let that one go. Let's see if we can make a play on deep cross up. And of course, they're going man, so this isn't going to work. Well, it may work. I mean, we can try it, but they're going to cover one. And just like that, they're back in it. Just an awful throw by Schneider. I should have audibled. 
I should have known better. That's just my fault. I can't trust my quarterback to make throws like that consistently. So now we're going to go back to the run game and make some really simple throws next time. Good stop there. We're going to run a lot of clock going forward. I didn't know that you could motion your half back out like that. That's interesting. That's a good stop right there. So it's third 10. We got to get a stop right here. We need to force a field goal. Now they're going with a humongous set, but I'm still going to go clay out at a nickel. I'm assuming they are going to throw the ball. Let's do something like this. Good defense. Good defense. So are they going to kick a field goal? They are not going to kick a field goal. So I'm going to just call the same play. Hope for the best. If we can get a stop here, that would make a big difference. Intercept that. Good defense, corner. Safety, whoever you are. Man, that was big. Whew, we dodged a bullet there. If they would have scored on that drive, things would have got real interesting and right quick. Good block right there. Pick up nine. Let's go slam with Boyle. Zone 3-4. We're going to let that clock roll. I'm going to go to the right. We'll probably have to cut this up in the B gap. We'll go right behind that right guard. I'd love to take off the rest of the time of this core and end this thing. Or just play perfect defense. Third and two. I'm going to do direct. Are they going to go man? And nope, they're not going to do that. So let's see if we can get a first down here. Let that clock roll. Normally I have a throw in this situation. Get it out to a few seconds. Just get a first down. Just enough. Let's run dive with Drummer. We're going zone dive, so we may be able to get a good gain out of this one. Just depending on the blocking, we're going to go left. I would pull one of my receivers over to the left. That's probably going to move that linebacker over, so I don't think we'll gain a whole lot out of that. Pick up about six there. Seven yards. Let's do a dive from Ace Big. They're going zone, so maybe we can find a crease. They're spreading out. Um... We'll go to the left. A very good chance I'll be cutting this up at inside pretty hard. There we go. Good play. Good, good play by Dargan. Good blocking. Go we'll pull back over. Man, three, four. I'm going to flip this. Because I... Mm, interesting, that safety looks like he's going to be on drummer. So that was probably a wrong move there. That's the whole reason why I flipped it, get away from that guy. But just great defense all around on that one. So second and ten, they're calling a timeout. I'm going to keep running the ball. Let's go offensive line on that one. go blast going 3-4 they spread out their defensive line which is fine by me 
I'm going to leave it as is. Normally, I'd like to put my fullback on the line on this one, but I think we may find a crease, and he may help me out up the gut. Not a whole lot there, but we're going to force another timeout. Third and seven. Offensive line. Let's do another slam. Man dime. Oh, man. But they got... This may be in our best interest to go this way, even though that's safety sitting over there. Good blocking. Good game. That's game right there. That ended it. We're going to end up winning 21 to 7. They got one timeout left. So I can call one more basic run. Then they'll call a timeout. Then after that, I guess I can take a knee. I probably could take a knee the rest of the way. But we'll call this play first. So things got interesting here in the fourth quarter. But our defense made the big stop on that fourth down. Ah, face mask. We'll take that. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. First and ten. And they call the timeout. So it's not going to matter at this point. So I'm just going to take a knee the rest of the way. A good win. So we are bowl eligible. We're going bowling. Don't know where. Should be in a bowl game that I haven't played in in a long, long time. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. So we got one more game left. North Carolina, our arch rival. I'd love to take full ownership of that series. Like just destroy them every game for the rest of Dynasty. That would be nice. They're not having a good season either, so it'll be a tough battle. But we're going to have to play well. Don't turn the ball over. Force a lot of turnovers. That's usually the name of the game in football. But that was a good, solid win. I think we're going to get that commitment from Harris, the middle linebacker, which means we will have wrapped up our end season recruiting, which went as expected. We picked up the four guys we went after. Two on offense, two on defense, two offensive linemen, a middle linebacker, and a free safety. We need help everywhere. I got asked if I'm going to recruit some quarterbacks in the offseason a few videos ago, and I replied that I'm going to go after everything because we need help everywhere. So good solid win, 21-7. to We can check out some stats. We'll go here and here. So 312 yards to there, just 94. Our defense played great today. Really shut them down overall. Our third down conversion was a big deal for us. We had the one turnover. We overcame all of that, thankfully. You go to individual stats. Schneider, 12 of 14. I tried to keep it as simple as I could for him, but that one throw just wasn't good at all. Running the ball. 12, 13, and 8. Dargan ended up having by far his best game of the season for him. But he didn't have any touchdowns. The other two guys got touchdowns. Receiving Adams, Drummer, Boyle, Patrick. Elliott did not get one single catch, which I find hilarious. Defensively, doing landed tackles. A few guys uh, shared the tackles for loss. We had one sack and no interceptions. All right, let's get out of here. And as expected, we got the commitment from middle linebacker Sean Harris. We had a good chance of getting him all along because we knew of a positive pitch out of the gate. So you go back to our recruiting, and we have locked all four of these guys up, which is a nice little foundation for this recruiting class. We'll see how it goes. And you got to remember my theme for recruiting in this dynasty is recruiters, the smartest players that I can find. Try to get guys that are like B-plus and better, and that'll be interesting to see how that goes in the offseason. So let's check out some scores for the week. I'm pretty sure that is this week. Yeah, so Louisville got upset by Rutgers. NC State over Boston College. USC over Cal. Texas A&M over Oklahoma. Texas over Kansas. Ohio State over Northwestern. Michigan over Indiana. Florida State over Clemson. Tennessee over Memphis. Florida over South Carolina. Auburn over Georgia. BYU over Wyoming. LSU over Alabama, but barely. Minnesota over Michigan State. 
Georgia Tech upset Virginia, so that helps us a little bit in our divisional standings. Then you got UTEP over Texas Southern, Stanford, or Oregon State over Stanford, Texas Tech over Oklahoma State, and Iowa got upset by Wisconsin, 38 to 24. So come on back in our next video. We will take on North Carolina. This is the last game of the regular season. They're B minus overall versus C plus. So it's about an even matchup. But they have lost six in a row. They're just not playing well at all. You can check out their stats. They don't do anything well except they throw the ball halfway decent. So it should be an interesting matchup. And I'm looking forward to making this a fun little series. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.